Hello students, in this video we are going to learn about NOR based flash memory. In previous video we saw about flash memory and one of the type of flash memory which is based on NAND. Now we are going to learn about NOR based flash memory. So each cell of your flash memory has one end that will be connected to the ground and other end will be connected directly to the bit line. What is it? The flash memory cells that we have seen. So one end of the cell will be connected to the ground and the other end will be connected to the bit line. And this NOR flash usually acts like a normal pseudo NOR. Right? In pseudo NOR, what is this? By default, there will be a logic one. By default, there will be a logic one. We, we do program such that a zero is being written. And when one of the word line is brought high, corresponding storage transistor will be acting to pull the output bit low. What is this? This is a pseudo NOR. I said that it is by default high. But when I am making some input, when one of my word line is brought high, what will happen? That high will be given to the N MOSFET and thereby the corresponding storage transistor, the precharged value will be going to low because I'm going to pull down the particular node to low. So my NOR flash is going to perform like a pseudo NOR cell. See how I will be programming. So we know in pseudo NOR that normal by default, it will be storing the value of one. If I need to perform a write operation, I need to follow a certain step, right? Simple it is. So when I'm going to perform a write operation, it means I'm going to store a zero. So if for storing zero, what are the steps that has to be taken care? An elevated on voltage must be applied to the control gate. I'm going to feed a large amount of I'm going to feed a large amount of voltage to my control gate, right? What will happen because of applying large amount of voltage to my control gate, what is going to happen? The channel will be turned on, the electron starts flowing because I'm applying a large potential to the control gate. So because of the large amount of voltage that is applied to the control gate, my channel will be turned on, thus the electrons start flowing. Because of the electron flow, we know that the current is going to pass. The source strain current will be high, causing some high energy electrons to jump through the insulating layer onto the floating gate. A process called as electron injection. What is it? A process called as electron injection. So for programming your NOR based flash memory, the technique called as hot electron injection is used. What is it for programming? I'm going to apply a large amount of elevated voltage on your control gate. So what this is going to happen because of the large amount of voltage, the channel will be turned on. We know I'm giving voltage, so channel will be turned on because of that the electrons start flowing. When electrons flow, current do pass, of course. So because of that large amount of channel, Large amount of charge is there, so large amount of current is going to pass because of that some high energy electrons that will be jumping through the insulating layer onto the floating gate. What is it? It is a process called electron injection. The electrons are injected inside the insulating layer and it is going to pass into the floating gate. Okay, so this floating gate is now charged with electrons. So when I'm going to write a zero, given on voltage so because of the electron injection the floating gate will be filled with electrons so i have written a zero it doesn't mean that i have written one by default it is one if i want to perform a write operation it means i'm going to store a zero that is happening through electron injection now if i want to erase which means i'm resetting it to one state simple because one one is the default state. If I'm going to erase, if I erase all the data, output will be one. The large voltage of opposite polarity is applied between the control gate and the source terminal. What is it? A large voltage of opposite polarity is applied between your control gate and the source terminal. 
so there by pulling off the electrons of the floating gate if i want to erase which means i have to take the electrons from the floating gate what i did previously i programmed the floating gate such that the electrons are passed inside the floating gate through the electron injection technique now i am going to perform an erase operation which means i have to take the electrons away from the floating gate so which means i am going to apply a large voltage of opposite polarity and we know that in your flash memory the all the operations are done in blocks so if i divide a particular memory cell into various blocks the all the cells in a particular blocks or the segment must be erased together right in your e e from what is the case i will to write something the entire data or the entire memory cell has to be erased whereas in your flash memory what is the condition you will be dividing your entire cell into various segments or blocks and if i want to perform any operation that will be done only on a particular block all the cells that is present in the particular segment must be erased together it is not that one one cell will be erased a particular segment whatever the or how many cells are there that complete block has to be erased right now so far we saw about the flash memory operation based on nor logic what i said for erasing i am using what technique c pulling the electrons off from the floating gate what is it the process of moving electrons just nothing but the fnt tunneling process what we said in earlier in nand logic also we have learned this fnt fnt stands for fowler norden tunneling so while i am performing the erase operation i am going to pass or pull the electrons away from the floating gate and i said that previously itself i can perform addition of electrons onto the gate or i can remove the electrons from the floating gate which is a process of writing and erasing respectively in my previous video so i'm not going into the depth of fnt i have given a clear explanation about fnt in the nand based flash memory so here i just use the term fnt with the hope that you would have seen the previous video so now see for the nor based flash memory the working i'm going to erase which means i am going to remove the electrons how i am going to remove the electron by using the fnt tunneling process for that my gate is given to zero my source terminal is kept in floating or in open mode and my drain is kept higher voltage i am feeding a high voltage to the drain and my floating gate my terminal gate voltage is kept to zero voltage and i am giving the source terminal as floating or open now i am going to perform a programming what is this he which is nothing but hot electron injection just now we have learned when i am applying a large amount of voltage or the on elevated on voltage to the gate terminal that will be creating or passing lot of electrons inside my floating gate at that particular terminal i will be keeping my sources zero both my drain as well as gate are given high voltage so programming is done through the electron injection and erasing is done through the fowler nordem tunneling effect see now uh, same way like our nand based flash memory i have a tab tabulation which is a signal what are the various signals we are having an erase operation is done by activating or deactivating which signal and for programming is done by which signals in the same way we will see for read as well so what is this uh, nor we know that nor is a connection of parallel transistors will be there so that is what the parallel connection of floating gate i have shown on the top on the bottom it is nothing don't panic it is same the transistor n1 n2 n3 n4 n5 n6 or the six transistors that i have named and uh, one terminal of that the terminal these are nothing but uh, transistors so my source and drain or it can be interchanged now see that n1 n2 n3 n4 n5 n6 one terminal is connected to source line it is just a name it doesn't mean that it is a source it is just a name which is given to the line which is source line another line which is connected to the another terminal which is given to bit line 1 and three more terminals are connected to bit line 2 all the gates are given to word line 1 word line 2 and word line 3 now see i'm going to perform an erase operation means i'm going to pull off my electrons from the floating gate for that what i have to do i have to make my word line 
lines to go to zero. I am making my word lines to be equal to zero. See, there is a global erase that is happening in our flash memory. So, so all my word lines will be made equal to zero. So all are made equal to zero. What I said when the erase operation will done take place only when my VG is equal to zero. So VG is connected to the word lines. So I am making all my word lines to be equal to zero. And now. What is happening to SL? SL is nothing but source line. I am keeping my source line as equal to high. Okay, that is connected to your. What is about the source? Source must be kept floating, and your gate must be given zero, and your drain voltage must be given higher voltage. So what is kept high here? The SL line is kept high. Means this is nothing but VD. This terminal, when I am performing a erase operation, this terminal is going to act as a drain. Okay, so VD is kept high. That is connected to the source line. So all the VDs are kept high. Okay, here everything is turned on, and all the word lines or all the gate are turned off, which is everything is zero, which means all are kept zero, and all the one terminal, one side of the terminal is kept to the high voltage, which means. that is going to perform an erase operation for all the cells and now what about the programming during programming what i have to do see here for performing programming my drain and the gate must be kept to higher voltage and my source must be given zero so while i am performing programming i am interchanging the source and drain just because i need to program only this particular cell if i don't change my terminal what will happen both the word word line will be kept high means m3 and m4 will be turned on and at the same time i want to keep my source high so what will happen both m3 and m4 will turn on and the data will be written in both m3 and m4 but i want to perform a write operation on only particular cell so i am interchanging the terminal thereby one the one which was previously drain becomes a source and one which was previously source become a drain so now my bit line 1 is kept high okay so which means the source is kept high and bit line 2 i am making it zero so which is b2 is kept zero and b1 is kept as high because of that particular operation source is kept high voltage and the gate is connected to high voltage and thereby a programming is done what about read operation read operation is nothing but i will be having a bit line 1 and bit line 2 for reading we will be giving certain voltage which is less than or equal to your threshold voltage vt1 and vt2 if it lies between these two values which means it is a normal transistor or else it is a it is charged with uh, electrons and thereby we can find whether it is a logic 0 or logic 1 that i have previously explained this is just the same and this is all about the erase programming and the read by using a nor based flash memory thank you